Alrighty guys, good morning. Welcome back to CNC Outdoors. I'm trying to keep my face out of the wind. It is brutally cold, I think it's like eight degrees. Real temp is probably, or uh, with the wind chill, it's probably like 30 below or something like that. I don't know, it's cold. But I just got out on Lake Winnebago, stopped at Fishtails this morning, got some bait. And uh, where I'm standing was open two days ago. It's January 15th, if you're not familiar with the Wisconsin weather. Um, three days ago, uh, or Saturday, yeah, two days ago, Saturday, we had a massive snowstorm where I live in Green Bay. We had like 17 or 18 inches of snow. Here in Oshkosh, I think they had like 12 to 14, somewhere in there, but all the snow blew off the lake and then it got cold Monday night, or uh, Sunday night, and now it's Monday. It got brutally cold. So this was open where I am right now, and I have not seen water yet with my spud bar. Pretty ridiculous. Right there. I don't know how well you guys could see that. I'm freaking cold. There's probably, we probably made five inches in like a day and a half, maybe six, probably six in like a day and a half. But anyways, I'm gonna get the shack set up. I am freezing, so let's get fishing. All right, you guys. Sorry if the camera's a little bit foggy, but um, I'm gonna drop my first rod down. I'm in like nine feet of water where I'm at here. I'm kind of fishing a spot that I have fished in the past. I have not fished it in a long time. Uh, my minnow bucket is frozen. That's not cool. But um, yeah, so really hoping that I don't have to move today. But ooh, we'll see, I guess. Um, I'm gonna throw, I got two dead stick rods. This one's just got like this little, try and wipe that off. Little like, I don't know, like a little moon eye jig. And I'm gonna put a rosy red on that one. Drop that guy down. I do not have rod holders today because they were in my attic and I didn't feel like getting them. So we're gonna have to make do with what we got. Oh man, there's a fish down there already. Look at that. Holy man, he's got it. Got him. No way, dude. It's a freaking nice perch. Unreal. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? All right, let's get this mess dealt with here. I hope you guys can see that. I'm sure it's foggy as heck, but look at that. Literally, I've been fishing for two seconds. Got one already. Unreal. Unreal. Okay. Um, that was fun. Let's do that again. Can't make that up, guys. Cannot make that up. Oh, jeez. Oh, he's on it. Got another one. <laughs> Looks like we're gonna catch perch today. That one's a, a little bit small. I mean, he'd be he could be a keeper, but we'll let him go. Wow, I can't even get my can't even get my jig rod set up. All right, for my second rod, um, I honestly can't remember what kind of jig this is. I think it might be a VMC, but I just got a little tungsten jig with some red spikes on there. Seems to be quite a few fish in the area. So, this is gonna be a fun day. This is a perch. 
Oh my goodness. Here he comes. Here he comes. Got him. Oh yeah. There's another one down there too. Little guy. So I'm, ex I'm excited to use my Mega Live for that dude. Oh crap dude. I got stuff happening. Come on. <laughs> oh. There's one on my dead stick. Got him. Oh yeah, nice one. Yes. Yes, I might be talking to Miguel right now on the phone, catching perch. Shout out to Miguel Ortiz. Thanks, bud. <laughs> That's a good one. That's a good perch. Probably 10 incher. Harvest. Harvest. Man, I cannot get him to eat. Eat the tungsten jig. There he is. That's a better one. <sighs> no wonder they're so picky. They're freaking stuffed. Cold front probably doesn't help. That's a good one. This is freaking awesome, man. You know, I kind of came here today and I didn't even know how much ice there was going to be. I really didn't have a clue, let alone catch fish and turning out to be a good day so far. Yeah, bunch, dude, my screen's just folded. Bunch of little ones yeah, down there too. Oh yeah, I've here we go. Here, here's a big one coming up. Got him. Oh yeah. Got him. Uh, oh, yeah. Just switched to one of those uh, Maz custom spoons with a rosy red minnow head. Begging. So I'm just smack that thing. Sure looked like it. Things running for its life right now. <laughs> that thing is really thumping. There's gotta be one chase in that thing. Ooh, he's got it. He's got it. Got him, that's a big one. Yeah, dude. Nice. <laughs> Heck yeah. <laughs> I love it. Got him. Oh, that's a big one. Oh, yeah. Nice. <laughs> Dead stick is on fire. I mean, they're not. They're not super slabs by any means, but quality perch. Weeding through a couple smaller ones, but the keepers have been like tens. Here we go. Oh, that thing smoked it. What is this? Oh, it's a freaking burbot, dude. No way. Oh my god. Freaking big burbot, dude. Come on. No way. Brandon! I got a big burb on. Big one. Oh my god. What a freaking fight, dude. Dang. Get up here, man. Oh. <laughs> Come on, baby. Oh. Oh, you're so slimy. Got you, maybe. Go like this. Yeah, dude. Freaking burbot.
There we go. Yep, got that on the Moz Custom Spoon. Oh my goodness. Burbot. Unreal. Yes, poor man's lobster. I'm so jacked. That's a good eater too. Oh. I think I got another burbot. Oh yeah. Big burbot. Oh no. Yes. Another burb. Yes. <laughs> How sick is that? You could see him just hanging out on bottom. So I just kept bouncing it in front of his face. Or basically on bottom. And he just freaking hammered it. Yes! Poor man's lobster. That's gonna be awesome. Here he comes again. Gotcha. Oh, there's one on this rod too. <laughs> oh, this one's a little better, I think. Yeah, dude. Nice. <laughs> that one's a little bit better. <laughs> dude heck yeah freaking jumbo baby there's another one down there too come on one of them looks decent Big one. Oh, it's a burbot again. No way. Another burb. <laughs> yes. That is sick. Another burbot. Unreal. Never. Never would I have thought I would have been catching burbot today. I think that's number four. So I'll probably be done keeping burbot now. Poor man's lobster. Tomorrow. And oh Jesus. And Brent. Oh I got a, another burb dude. I bet you another burb. Got him. Yep. Yep. Oh, he got off. Yeah, I just lost him at the hole. What? Another perch, I think. Oh, it might be another burbot. Oh. oh, it's a perch, I think. Yep. It's like a nice male. We'll let him go, though. There's a keeper. Nice. <laughs> I love it. I love catching perch. So much fun, especially on Bago. Oh, here's a big yeah, one. It's gonna warm right back up to 40, but by that time, it's not gonna even matter. We're gonna have so much ice by then. I got a big one on me. Catch him. Oh, he just nipped at it. Here he comes. Perp. No, perch. Got him. You got him? Yep. Oh yeah, big perch, baby. Is it? Yeah. <laughs> oh, man, that sounds like fun. Yes. It is. Well, I'll let, I'll let you get back to fishing. I'll give you a call later. I'm, I'm going to piss my pants if I just stay on the phone with you. <laughs>
Ten four. Alright. Bye. Later. Another perch. Oh, one's looking at the minnow. Oh, it's another burbot, I think. Got him. Oh, it's a freaking giant, too. Oh. Wow, he came up quick. Oh, jeez, there he is. Another burb. Unreal. Unreal. Alright. I don't know what number burbot that is. Six? Seven? Lost a couple. But that's that's the last one I'm gonna keep, so then uh, we can have some poor man's lobster tomorrow night. Cannot wait. These things are amazing, boiled and seven up. It's gonna be awesome. <laughs> Not a bad one. Yeah, we'll cut him up. There's a nice one. Oh, burb. It's got to be another burb. Oh, yeah. Big burb. Oh, my goodness. That's a big one. Man, they're so squirrely by the hole. There he is. Oh. <laughs> it's got so much water in my sleeve. There he is. Another one. I can't believe it. I have never, never caught this many burbots. Unreal day. <laughs> burbots and perch. Never, never would have thought. See you later, dude. Another perch. All right, guys. Midday update. Uh, it's like 12:05 now. Just broke out the lunch. Today we got quick trip special. Turkey breast and Swiss cheese. We got a little bit of Chex Mix action, and we're still catching fish. It's been an awesome day so far. I. I am blown away at the amount of burbots that I've been catching. The perch have been pretty decent sized for the most part, so it's been a super fun day. Probably gonna fish another two hours or so, fish till 2 o'clock, 2.30. See if uh, we can get a couple more fish on the ice, which I'm sure we will. Stick around. Got one. Nice one. I got a pile of them down there. Oh my god. <laughs> jeez. That was a little... Well jeez, go the other way dude. There you go. That was a little chaotic there. Got one nice one. That's a good one. Yeah, dude. Nice one. Nice. Uh, where is my minnow? Oh my god, it got eaten. Got 
Got him. Nice one, too. Oh, my God. Sweet. <laughs> Just trying to get my minnow down there. And it got eaten. Nice one. Yes. There's a jumbo. Another one on the rosy red. There it is. Got him. Decent one. Alrighty guys, it's about 2.45, 3 o'clock. Um, just started packing up my crap and I'm gonna get out of here. But it was a excellent day out here. First day out on Lake Winnebago. It was uh, one of the best I've had. The burbot were a freaking awesome surprise. I think I got like, I probably kept like 20 perch. Let a whole bunch of them go, so. Um, yeah, I kind of had the one-two punch. I had, uh, I started with a small tungsten jig this morning and, uh, they kept hitting the minnow. The rosy red was hot all day today on that little, um, it's like a little moon eye jig. Um, that was really good for me today, but then I put that spoon on from Maz and that caught a bunch of fish too. So it was an awesome, awesome day. Can't wait to eat these burbot boil them in some seven up and have some poor man's lobster. So. That was a good day. Thanks for watching guys. Later.